Hello, good evening. Good evening, Peter. How are you? I'm uh, pretty good, thank you. What about you, Carla? Fine, it's my day off. Oh, really? Ah, yes, today is Thursday. You rest on Thursday. Yes. I remember that. Have you done anything interesting? No. Um, watch TV. Only, only, only watching TV. Yes. What's your favorite program? Netflix. Netflix. Yes. Uh, what do you watch in Netflix? Uh, first season, La Casa de Papel. La Casa de Papel first season. Okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, that's nice. Nice. Very, very, very good. Okay. Perfect. Uh, what about you, Karen? How are you? Hi. Hi. Um, excited but optimistic despite the quarantine. Ah, okay. So you're optimistic beside the quarantine. That's nice. Yes. <laughs> yes. So did you work today? Um, a lot of work. A lot of work. Yes. Okay. Well, um, maybe tomorrow you can take a break, at least from classes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, that's nice. How are you today, Liliana? Uh, boring. Boring? Just, yes, just clean and clean. <laughs> okay, so you don't work. No, I'm not See, working right now. Oh, you are at home with your kids. Yes. One Doing time. homework. See? A lot yes, of that's... homework with the kids or not too much homework. Yes, too much homework for him. Uh, Casey. Than... Yes, I, I know. <laughs> so you have a lot of things to do. Nice. What about you, Felipe? How are you today? How are you today, Felipe? Hi, teacher. Hello. How are you today? Fine, teacher. Did you work? Yes, I work. Yesterday, uh, I had a turn. I'm sorry, no, no pude entrar ayer a la clase. Ah, so you work in the night shift. Trabajo en el turno de noche. Yes. Okay, so you say I worked in the night shift. I work in the night shift. Uh huh. You worked in the night shift. You're a oh. doctor, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, how was it? A lot of work? Yes. Pero no está work. en los centros de contención como Carla. Mm, no. No. Uh, a clinic. Una In a clinic. clinic. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, let's pray for the situation to get better. How are you today, Iris? Good. Going special things, cocinando cosas especiales, haciendo tareas especiales, bailando. Nice. <laughs> de llevarla. That's nice. Congratulations. <laughs> That's the attitude. <laughs> so you've been dancing, <laughs> cooking. You look better. Yeah. You look better today. Uh, me arreglé para la clase. Yes, you look good. <laughs> Thank you. What did you cook? You cooked something special. A uh, uh, salad, uh, tuna, and pasta. Tuna salad and pasta. Mm, sounds delicious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. Congratulations. Nice. Uh, Victor, how are you today? 
Victor, are you there, Victor? Hello, teacher. Hello, Victor. How are you today? Mm, every day. Um, mm, nada, no he hecho nada. <laughs> Clean Sad. the house. <laughs> clean the house. Uh, you just clean the house. Mm, that's yes. something. <laughs> Every that's day. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, for today, we're going to check the platform. Uh, that is a, a review of the pronunciation. Um, I'm sure that you already saw the video just to refresh the knowledge about the pronunciation. Um, the pronunciation exercise is in 4.6. There you have the simple past of ED endings. Let's watch the video. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to sound natural when pronouncing simple past verbs. The ED ending of simple past verbs has three different sounds. Let's listen and practice. These verbs end in t, worked, watched. These verbs end in d, cleaned, stayed. These verbs end in id, invited, visited. In order to understand when we'll have a T, D, or id sound, we need to understand a couple of concepts. Voiceless and voice sound. So let me explain that. I would like for you to pay attention to my throat and my fingers. I'm going to put two fingers on my throat, particularly on my Adam's apple. I would like for you to do the same as well. Now, I would like for you to repeat after me. Watch, turn, watch, turn, turn, watch, turn, turn. watch, watch, turn. watch, turn. watch, turn. watch turn. turn. Whenever we pronounce the verb watch, there is no vibration on our Adam's apple. This is called a voiceless sound. However, whenever we pronounce the verb turn, there is lots of vibration on Adam's apple. This is called a voice sound. Now let's try to understand the it sound. We will pronounce it whenever we have verbs that have a T and a D sound. For example, visit has a T sound. So we pronounce the past as visited. Land has D sound. So we pronounce the past as landed. Let me show you more examples of words that are voiceless and voice to help you understand this topic better. Another method to use is following this particular sounds. These sounds are voiceless. P, K, S, H, C, H, G, H, T H S S C X. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Helped, looked, watched, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed. The following consonants have boys sound. L N R G V S W Y Z. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Called, cleaned, offered, 
damage, love, use, follow, enjoy, amaze. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to pronounce all of these verbs and then record yourself using the website bokaroo.com. After you finish this activity, share the link of the recording on our discussion forums. Now it's your turn to practice. Okay, as you know, esto es lo que estuvimos viendo. Um, a lo que se refiere es los voiceless son los que no producen vibración acá en la garganta. Eso es la pronunciación final es T, helped, looked. Los que dicen voiced son los que pronuncian, producen vibración acá. Entonces eso se pronuncia con T al, al final. Son las tres diferentes pronunciaciones, se explican acá. Y esto, esto ya lo tienen ustedes, se los mandé a su WhatsApp para que ustedes sigan practicando. Pueden practicar también viendo acá en su plataforma, es el ejercicio 4.6. Y se les invita a que hagan su, uh, graben, eh, eh, lo pronuncien, lo repiten, lo repitan. Y cuando ya se sientan a gusto con cómo se escucha, lo pueden grabar en vocaru.com. Y luego poner en, en, en mandar al discussion forum su grabación. Esto es opcional, es solo una práctica extra, ¿verdad? Para seguir reforzando lo que es pronunciación. Ok. Uh, then we have the next exercise. Let's see. Is, uh, uh -huh. Simple past statements with irregular verbs. Aquí es donde paramos ayer, que son los, el pasado simple con los verbos irregulares. Hi everyone. In this class you learn to form positive and negative statements using irregular verbs. Let's get started by listening and practicing these statements in the past using irregular verbs. Simple past statements. Irregular verbs. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10 o'clock. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. In English, we have two types of verbs. In our last class, we learned how to use regular verbs and learned the simple rule of adding ed to change those verbs to the past tense. We also have irregular verbs, which are more complicated because there really isn't a particular rule to follow. You will need to learn them and memorize them. To form positive statements in the past using irregular verbs, we will follow the same formula as with forming positive statements with regular verbs. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. On this chart, you can see a few examples. If you notice the positive statements have the verbs in the past tense, and the negative statements have the verbs in the present tense. For example, the past of the verb do is did, get up, the past is got up, go, the past is went, meet, the past is met, come, the past is came, have, the past is had. Let's analyze the first example. I did my homework. First we add the subject I. Then we include the verb in the past tense, did. Finally we add a complement, homework. 
To form negative statements, we will follow this formula. Subject plus didn't, the auxiliary didn't, plus verb in the present, plus complement. I didn't do laundry. First, we add the subject I. Then, we add the auxiliary verb to form negative statements in the past. Didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present. Do. Finally, we add the complement. Laundry. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to make positive and negative statements using these irregular verbs. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, then we see this as you heard in the video. Así como escucharon en el video, los irregulares son los que son un poco más complicados por el hecho de que esos uh, no siguen un, una regla que podamos decir, ah, este es así o este, según la regla tengo que hacer este, sino que lo único que se puede hacer con ellos es memorizarlos. Um, ahí se, les mandé una lista a su WhatsApp mm -hmm. y les mandé el audio para que practiquen la pronunciación y traten de memorizarlos uh, lo más que puedan. Okay. Okay. Si no, si no los tienen, uh, uh, también les puedo mandar enlaces, puedo mandarles enlaces en los que ustedes puedan practicar para que sientan que es algo interactivo. Ajá, esto eh, ya como algo adicional, aprovechando que tenemos tiempo, ¿verdad? Entonces se los puedo mandar mañana para que tengan más práctica con los, con los uh, verbos estos y así puedan este, irlos memorizando de a poco, practicarlos, hacer oraciones con ellos. Y ahorita vamos a hacer, bueno, como vieron ahí, de compartir ahora la pantalla. Okay. Lo que les explicaba ayer es lo que acaban de ver en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Que son los irregulares. Eh, simple past statements son las oraciones en pasado simple. En esta, bueno, está en afirmativo, I did my homework. Sabemos que el pasado de do es did. Por, la, por lo tanto, aquí la oración nos dice, yo hice mi tarea. Si fuera negativa, um, aquí dice, I didn't do laundry, no lavé la ropa. Entonces, aquí está el auxiliar, did not, para indicar pasado negativo, y luego el verbo, do, ¿verdad? Lo que les explicaba ayer, no lo vamos a, a conjugar en oraciones negativas, el verbo no se conjuga ni en preguntas, porque pues utilizamos auxiliares para eso. Vamos a poner el, el audio para que ustedes puedan repetir y practicar pronunciación. Page 94, exercise 5, grammar focus. Simple past statements, irregular verbs. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10 o'clock. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. Aquí pueden ver reflejado. Got up. En oración afirmativa. Get up, porque en negativa los ponemos en su forma infinita sin conjugarlo, ¿verdad? You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10. 
Aquí en oración afirmativa, he went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. Go, in past, went. Get up, got up. Do, did. Meet, met. Come, came. Have, had. Okay. Those are irregular verbs that you can use. Okay. Uh, let's see if you remember. Vamos a ver si ustedes recuerdan el pasado simple de estos verbos irregulares. Ok, um, aquí están en pasado. Ustedes tienen que escribir cuál es el presente. Por ejemplo, aquí tenemos el pasado, boat. Esto es en presente, buy. ¿Cuál es el presente de eight? It. 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 Ajá. Feel. Feel. Felt. 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 Ajá. Así van a ser. Buy, boat. Eat, ate. Feel, felt. Mm. Make. 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 Read. Mm. Read. Aquí se escribe Read. igual Read. en presente. En presente read. se escribe igual, solo se pronuncia read. read, en pasado se pronuncia como el color rojo, red. red. Lo único que cambia es la pronunciación. Presente, read, pasado, red. Uh, ¿Hola? Sí. Ok, uh, road. Right. Right. So. So. Sí. Sí, ajá. Sat. Sit. Sit, ajá. And sí. took. Hold. Take. Take, take. ajá. Took and take. Now, uh, let's see if you can um, share some sentences about what you did last weekend. Um, for a short paragraph, Tell your classmate about your weekend, the last weekend. Uh, for example, things I did and things I didn't do. En su párrafo, ustedes pueden incluir cosas que hicieron y cosas que no hicieron. Eh, por ejemplo, pueden hacer algo, algo pequeño para que luego lo compartan acá en clase. Mm -hmm. uh, algo que hicieron la semana pasada. Okay. Uh, por ejemplo, last weekend, I, I saw a movie. I saw a movie. I bought groceries. I bought groceries. Um, And to visit okay, a short paragraph. Um, as you see, last weekend I saw a movie. I bought groceries and and I went to visit my sister. I didn't. I didn't practice English. I didn't practice English. And I didn't, for example, I didn't, um, ay, me muero de hambre digitando. <laughs> I didn't, um, I didn't do the laundry. Something simple like this. As you see, when you make negative, the verb should be in simple form. Okay? And a short thing like this. Last weekend, I saw a movie. I bought groceries mm -hmm. and I went to visit my sister. I didn't practice English and I didn't do the laundry. And that's it. 
a short paragraph. I'll give you three minutes, tres minutos para que hagan algo así sencillo y luego lo compartamos en clase. Finish. 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 Okay, let's start with um, a volunteer to start sharing the paragraph. A volunteer, Abigail. Okay, Abigail, start. Last week I watched a Korean soap opera and I cleaned the house. I didn't practice English because my internet was horrible. Okay, excellent. Very nice. Yes, the internet is a mess right now. <laughs> it's a disaster. Thank you so much, Carla. Last week, I last week, last week, I went a bank. I went bank, to uh, I went to the bank. Uh huh. And the the bank, and I went the visit uh, my grandmother. Negative, nothing. No negative statements. Uh, uh, I did. I didn't. I didn't laundry. The laundry. I didn't cook. Okay. Excellent. Nice composition. Another volunteer. It is. Thank you. Uh, last weekend, I ate pupusas and. I said movie Roman, me before you. I rode bike. I didn't visit my mom. I didn't check the platform. I didn't exercise. 
Excellent. Only one thing, it's romantic movie. Ah, uh, tiene que cambiar el orden. Ajá, uh -huh. romantic movie. And then, excellent. Another volunteer? Karen? Yo, 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 yo. Okay, Karen. Um, <clears throat> last weekend, I was working, but uh, when I got, I got, how my cookie, pupusas, <laughs> that made my song, and I'm happy to, I'm happy to, i happy to. Okay, very nice, nice job. Another volunteer, Felipe? Last night, I bought a lot of vegetables. Vegetables? Vegetables. Yes. And I made dinner. I didn't do the English homework and I didn't not didn't watch TV. Okay, excellent. So you cooked yesterday. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Another volunteer, Jaime. Victor, Danny. Okay, hello, hello. Jaime. Hi. Do you have your paragraph, Freddy? Last, okay, last weekend was my last day working. I did visit La Zorra community, but I didn't visit San, San Vincent City. I bought some spare parts for the road tractor. Okay, thank you so much. Nice conversation. Are you ready, Victor? Teacher. Yes. It's growth. Growth? Growth. 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 Escribí. I wrote. I wrote. Uh-huh. Okay. Ready? Danny? Ready? Yo? Ready? Yo? Yes. <laughs> 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 okay, um, the last year I was 28 years old and now I'm 29 years old. I grow to my dairy and I am begun, begun, begin, began. began my first wrong way. Okay, nice. Nice composition. Victor? Ready, Victor? No la terminé, teacher. Okay, no problem. All right, another thing that we were practicing yesterday was, uh, well, we were practicing just no questions, right? And this is part of the platform too. The yes no question. We're going to watch the video and see how do we form the yes no questions. There you have the formula. Formula question. Yes no question. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums pass yes or no questions. Additionally, we'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Did you like it? Let's listen and practice. Did you like it? So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. And we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow. Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Let's take a look at the questions on this chart. Simple past yes no questions. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. 
I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. In order to form simple past yes or no questions, we can follow this formula. Auxiliary did plus subject plus the verb in the present plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Did you have a good summer? First, we will add the auxiliary verb did. Next, we need to include the subject, you. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, have. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary verb did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark. A good summer. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, I did, or negatively by saying, no, I didn't. In our example, we can see that the question was answered positively, yes, I did, then extra information is given, I had a great summer. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense. Have turned into had. Let's analyze one more question. I'll choose the last one on this chart. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? First, we will add the auxiliary did. Next, we need to include the subject, Erica and her sister. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, go. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark to Colorado. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, they did, or negatively by saying, no, they didn't. In our example, we can see that it is answered by saying, no, they didn't. Then extra information is given. They went to Arizona. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense. Go turned into went. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to think about your last vacation and practice making questions and answers about it. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, as you may notice, while we have this, um, this uh, yesterday we practiced and we exercised the yes no questions, but we didn't practice the conversation that we have there. Um, the conversation is, this one says, is it, did you like it? This is the topic of the conversation. Did you like it? So we're going to listen to the conversation. And after that, we're going to practice. Page 95, exercise 7, conversation. Did you like it? Listen and practice. So, did you go anywhere last summer, Erica? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We loved it. Did you go hiking? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. And one day, we went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow! Did you have fun? Yes, I did. But my sister didn't like the rafting very much. Okay, do you have any question about the conversation, vocabulary maybe? Rafting. 
Rafting. Okay, rafting is the sport uh, that you have there. En español creo que le decimos rápidos. Este deporte que lo hacen así en, en aguas de, de, de río, que lo hacen, as, este deporte es rafting. En español le dicen rápidos. Any other question? Hi, hiking, así se pronuncia, teacher. Hi, sí, hiking. hiking, hiking, yes. That's hiking. Any other question about vocabulary? No questions about the vocabulary? No question. Okay, I'm going to play it one more time. La voy a poner una vez más y la voy a ir pausando para que ustedes repitan. Page 95, exercise 7, conversation. Did you like it? Listen and practice. So, did you go anywhere last summer, Erica? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We loved it. Did you go hiking? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. And one day we went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow! Did you like it? Listen and practice. Okay, now we can repeat. Yes. So, did you go anywhere last summer, Erica? Okay. So, did, so, you, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. Okay. We saw the Grand Canyon. Yes, yes I, I did. did. My, my, my sister and I went to Arizona. Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Really? really? Did you, you like, like it? it? Oh yes, oh, we yeah. loved it. We love it. Oh yes, oh, we loved yes. it. Yes, we loved it. We loved it. Did you go hiking? Did you go hiking? Did you go hiking? Did you go, Did you go hiking? hiking? No, we didn't. No. Actually, we rode horses. And one day we went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. No, we didn't. No, we, we didn't. didn't. No, we 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 didn't. No, but my sister didn't like the rafting very much. Okay. Yes, yes, I, I yes, I did. But my but sister, my sister my didn't, didn't like the like 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 rafting raft very much. much. Okay. Now I already sent the conversation to the WhatsApp group. Les acabo de mandar la conversación para ponerlos a practicar en grupo. Qué difícil es el ser humano. Nacer no. Okay. <coughs> Click John o unirse para que puedan practicar la conversación con sus compañeros. Patricia, Jaime. Patricia, Jaime. Can you practice with Carla, Jaime? Okay. Hola. Hello. Hello. Who is Laura? Carla, Carla. Mi es Laura. Okay. 
So, did you go anywhere last summer, Erica? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We love it. Did you go hiking? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode, we rode the horse. And one day we went white water rafting of the Colorado River. Wow. Did you have fun? Yes, I did. But my sister didn't like them rafting very much. Okay, excellent. Now change role. Pueden cambiar roles o practicar ahora con Patricia. Hola. So, so, did you go anywhere last Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we love it. Did you go hiking? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We loved it. Did you go hiking? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. And one day, we went white water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow. Did you have fun? Yes, I did. But my sister didn't like Okay, you're rafting. doing great. Practice more. Practice more. Thank you. Okay, thank you, teacher. Practice, practice. Okay, um, so did you go anywhere last summer, Erica? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we loved it. Did you go hiking? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses, and one day we went white water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, I did, but my sister didn't like the rafting very much. Okay, okay great, you're doing a good, good job. I'm going Thank to check you. another group. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Oh, oh, oh. What did I do? Yeah. Trail cars and one white water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, I did. My sister didn't like the rafting very much. Ahora, mm -hmm. Rebecca. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Suenan bastante bien, ya que lo dijeron como 100 veces. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. Okay. Teacher, 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 teacher. Sí, sí. ¿Qué era hiking? Hiking es cuando usted va a escalar, a, a hacer caminatas escalando, como en montaña, al aire libre. Eso es hiking. Ah. Uh -huh. Ir a de, caminata, sí. escalar. Y la palabra que es como rafting, R-A-F-T-I-N-G. Rafting es ese deporte que acá le llaman rápidos, que la gente se sube ah. en una como canoa y se meten a las corrientes de los ríos bravos. Como, ah, ajá. Ajá. Ahí estábamos jugando. Ajá, es un deporte. Aquí creo que no se hace eso, a saber. 
no creo. Yo tuve, tuve una tía que vivía como a un lado del, del, del río, ¿cómo se llama? El río Lempa. Ah, sí. Y, y decía de que antes, hace mucho tiempo, había personas que hacían eso en balsas inflables. Ajá, es que son balsas inflables las que ocupan. Ajá, y remitos, y eso era de que iban en las corrientes, Dios sí. Ajá, y se ponen casco, pero o sea, siempre es un deporte peligroso. Sí, porque dicen de que lo dejaron de practicar porque una persona se perdió como en una poza, dicen. Sí, sí, o como son corrientes, o ellos, como es como surfear, pero nada más que lo hacen en balsas y con remos, pero es peligroso. Pero ese es el rafting. Es que I'm going to check another. Creo que solo un grupo me falta de chequear. En eso termina. Ok, teacher. Bye. Thank you. Ok, bye. <laughs>
hay que hacer lo que se pueda, lo que esté a la mano, ¿verdad? Felicitaciones, Iris. <ríe> Continúe así. Es un ejemplo. <ríe> Pero ya saben, a ponernos guapos y a cocinar. <ríe> Ay, a bailar. <ríe> ok, so see you on Monday. Ok, take care. See you on Monday. Bye. 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 B